plus mal. Plus mal. All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Over 20 total strikes and counting have already found the mark for Yoel Romero. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Oh, big knee! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go we'll get him. Trying to stay in this fight! Oh, big left. Pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, eats a knee! Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. And whoa! Oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish him. Oh, he dove and he lands! Wow! Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh! with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Looping left hand misses the target. Oh, wow! Oh, hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish down. Oh. Lunges forward with a left there. Oh! It's a nice back and forth action here. Clean left punch followed by the right. He had a hurt. Oh, wow! And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. And there comes the separation now. Single collar tie. Well, that knee strike attempt blocked by Bisbee. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? And they separate. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. Hey. And just misses with that big right hand. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock him. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly, honestly. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he's got the back. Romero's lower jaw now starting to 
to show signs of swelling. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Bisping's right back to the full mount. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. And attack an arm bar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. Ready. All right, so here we go with round one. Seems to be a throwback type of matchup here. The classically trained striker taking on the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. The BJJ black belt with this guy doesn't even begin to describe his credentials. It does not describe how good he is. His vast knowledge of all the Jiu-Jitsu positions. This guy, once you're on the ground, there is no place where you are safe. You are constantly getting attacked. He's always throwing up submissions. He's always attacking arms. He's always attacking your neck doing everything to try and make you think submission's coming, even if it's just to change position to secure tops. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Oh, effective strike there by Bisbee. Some nice back and forth action here. Big kick land. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And he comes knee. through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. with that jab attempt there. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and land some big knees from in close. Ooh, big knee. Knee to the body. Shot to the body now blocked by Diaz. So a combination of knees here. You don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken... Oh, big knee! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Just misses with the jab. Oh, straight right! Big left hand lands upstairs! Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. 